got flex seal on all the all the seams there so I don't know if you can hear but there's a guy back that way back there running a big old brush cutting weed eater so can't do anything about that sorry but this stuff looks like it's pretty well dry YouTube. Everybody's wondering. Quick update. Um, bus is pretty well prepped and in the process of being painted as we speak. I've got the uh, got the uh, roof was all I had it all uh, used uh, flex seal and sealed all the seams and the rivets and then went back with just some regular old white old base paint and painted the rest of it. I take you up there, but it's everything's still wet. I don't feel like climbing up there tonight, but but that's where we're at. Um, ground those stripes off I used a grinder and man was that a they were on there it was some kind of vinyl overlay but they started to peel for a couple inches and I was getting real excited and then all of a sudden they just started coming loose because they were cracked like crazy they had been on, on there apparently for a long time so um, as well as the warding down the sides of the bus were uh, um, vinyl decals to it looked like so but let me uh let me take you around the side here and uh, show you show you what we're working on here so um i went ahead and ground off the the wording most of it there it was uh vinyl vinyl decals this surface is flat this one's kind of corrugated so there's really no way to get it all out so i'm just hoping to hoping the paint covers and it, and it doesn't show back up coming down the road, but I think it will because it used to say herd right there. And uh, that seems to have covered over fairly well. So, um, but that's, this is the, the new collar that it'll all be eventually, um, as soon as I can get it all on there. Man, been, been working with those little foam brushes and those things just suck. But uh, give me a shot. That white against the green just looks awesome. Uh, got a bunch of rundown on the bumpers. It's not no big deal because that bump, the bumpers still have to be painted black. So, and we've got nothing done on this side. But check this out. How good do those wheels with the black hubs look with the look with the green on the body? That's going to be awesome, isn't it? I'm pretty stoked. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at. It's about dark and it's been a long day. Um, I believe it is time to get something for dinner because this old guy is starving. All right. How's everybody doing? I tried um, really to, I was going to, my intentions were I was going to photo document, uh, video document the entire process of painting the uh, bus there but what ended up happening was I put a video up the day before Labor Day and uh, the weather turned just like perfect it was just perfect there was six or seven days slotted with no rain and I honestly thought I could probably get the bus stripped prepped and painted and put back together within probably three days Man, was I wrong. It, it took the entire time. I got done the uh, the day before the rain set in, late in the day, and uh, was just, just exhausted. So um, I started to record a few things, uh, which you guys saw. Uh, so to recap that, what I wound up doing was um, I had a pretty massive water leak um, from one of the driver's side windows uh, actually the one right behind the driver's seat and it was coming in through one of the seams I have no idea which one but it was running down and it, and it was just like running in the inside down the window just like a waterfall it was it was insane and I uh, was pulling in the floor and I was all constantly having to mop it out the door um, so I ended up like taking the window loose and just tilting the entire thing in a little bit so um, as it leaked, it would just shoot up back, right back out like a slicky slide. So that that got me through, uh, you know, the last little bit. But I put the flex seal on the roof, uh, and I covered all the seams. I covered all the rivet heads, and then came down to there's a there's a gutter 
uh, that runs right along the top of these windows on both sides of the bus. And I sealed the top of that gutter and then there, there are two pieces, uh, on, at least on this short bus they are. I don't know how many pieces they would be on a longer bus. But there's two, two sections and I, I took flex seal and sealed in between those. So, and then cleaned the gutters out uh, completely with a wire brush and just scrubbed them and got everything nice and smooth in there again. And so now the water is absolutely just draining the way it's supposed to. Uh, no more water coming in the window, which is absolutely awesome. Um, Cause it's one of the things that's kind of been holding me up about a, about a floor uh, is really, I don't want to put down a nice floor to have, have it leaking water on top of it. So uh, we have had really heavy rain for the last couple days. Um, just all day rain yesterday and uh, so far so good everything is, is dry other than just condensation uh, you know from being a bus uh, and that's just kind of kind of part of it once there's some heat uh, put in here I believe that will probably cure that so um, so anyway uh, the bus is painted <laughs> I, I still have to paint the bumpers and then the the grill and the headlight rings and things like that but uh, the the majority of everything else i mean the roof is painted i, I took flex seal like i said went through all the seams the rivet heads let that dry for 48 hours went back with a uh, couple coats of just white oil based paint and uh it it came out okay uh then went back i mixed up took again the, my white oil based paint and mixed in my blue and my yellow and made up the uh antique green if you want to call it mint green uh I don't know what call you call it anyway. It's 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 homemade homemade concoction. Uh, same thing I did for the wheels, just on a on a larger scale. I mixed up a gallon. Now I only use like a half a gallon painting the entire body, um, and very little. I mean maybe a quarter quarter of a gallon on the uh, on the roof there. So um, I'll probably go back and put another couple coats on the roof at some point. But I really just wanted to get it sealed and get it. Uh, painted so I can actually get back up there and drill some holes in it because we've got solar panels to go on the roof um, so I've got 400 watts of solar to put up on the back of the bus and that'll be coming probably what I'll be working on the day um, I I will if I don't get too distracted I'll try to film some of it um, of the process for you guys if not I mean you'll see the end result uh, in a few days so but with that being said, um, I, I just felt really rushed on trying to get the paint done and every time I tried to stop and and do any kind of recording, it was just, uh, I just felt like I was under the gun and I really was because it took a lot longer than I anticipated and I just barely got it done before the rains came in and uh, it's like every time I stopped to set a camera up, either, either uh, just something happened to distract, so anyway. I didn't really record a lot other than what you saw the paint process, but I will take you guys around um, for a better look here and uh, let you see what the outside of the bus looks like now. Keep in mind, I still have to put the headlights in and, I have to, you know, I still have to paint the grill. I just kind of ran out of time on that. Um, I will be sanding those down and throwing some paint on them probably at some point today so they can dry for a few days before I put the mirrors and everything else back in place. Um, so... Anyway, I'll take you out there and, and uh, we'll, t we'll take a look around. So, hang on, I'm going to pick you up. Okay, so here is what we're left with. I still have to pull some of the uh, tape tape off the uh, windshield there. Um, I wanted to wait till it was kind of drier before I climbed up on there because I can't quite reach that far. But we've got the uh, white on the top and the green on the bottom i still have to paint the front wheels and hubs those will happen at some point i'm not in a big rush because that's something i can do pretty much any time where i can just take the wheels off and leave them for a few days so and there you have we have the lights these are the white uh, led lights for markers or for off-road use i'm sorry got the amber markers in on both sides and uh, i've got the ones on the back done as well i'll take you around now let's take a peek at that but no more no more herd bus on the side of anything so a 
again up up top we've got our our lights there if i can get you to focus in a little bit not sure if that helps or hurts where do i got uh, white lights these are not wired in yet these guys are they look awesome um, and that's it so there's our I don't know if you can see that in the sun but that's how I get internet out here so a 25 foot flagpole with a cell phone booster on the back again the, the bumpers still need to be painted so that'll happen soon Okay, so hopefully that should catch you guys up to where we're at right now. Like I said, today I'm going to be working on getting some, uh, getting the solar panels up on the roof. And there's a pretty good reason for that, which I will show you guys in another video. And uh, try to get the uh, mirrors and the grill painted so they can be reinstalled. I'll, again, I'll attempt to video what I can. Um, sometimes I just get in the zone with working and I got to go back and just show you what's been done. So. But anyway, I um, hope everybody enjoyed the uh, quick walk walk around the bus there, and God bless everybody. Um, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Like it. Uh, subscribe it. would be even fan more fantastic. We're uh, working our way slowly up to the 1,000 subscriber mark, which that'll be fantastic. So um, anyway, hope you guys uh, liked it. God bless everybody, and we'll catch you on the next video.